Alright, start a new tab and go to Google and type something pattern. I'm a fan of the Detroit Lions, so I typed Lions pattern. And then scroll through and find one that you think is nifty. I like this one, but I don't like the ruler. But what's cool is if I look through them, there are similar ones without the ruler. So I really like this one. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save that image in my downloads folder. And I'm going to put the word lions in front of it so it's real easy to find. Once I've got that image saved, then I can go back to you would draw. I'm going to just take my previous one and do control C and control V. I am going to follow the rules where I pick a new font. Uh, this time I'm going to pick <laughs> the Christmas one. I want one that's much thicker because I'm going to have it filled with all this cool lion stuff. So I like permanent marker. I'm going to put it below so it fits. I'm going to go to the fill, stroke, choose image, go to my downloads folder, and I'm going to find that cool new picture. There it is. I'm going to open that picture, and it fills it in pretty cool. I want to scale it down so there's a lot more lions, though. So I can just drag that slider until it looks just the way I want. I'm pretty darn happy with that. So, when you're happy with yours, get it adjusted, put it where you want. Pat yourself on the back for being awesome.